In this quick tip video, let's talk about sections and section buffers. So on my screen is a set of section views, and you should notice a green box around it. If I select it, it's part of the section view altogether, and each one is separate. This green box represents the buffer around the section. What is a buffer? The buffer is basically like a left direction drag for selection, where it selects anything that's inside of it and crosses it and associates it with the section. This is handy when you have to do manual drafting of objects. So if I draw a circle here and maybe a line or two, you know, just something put on the screen. Those are manually drafted objects, not created by Civil 3D in any way. If I choose the move command and then move this section view, it knew that these are part of it. More importantly, if you're doing this and you change your sections widths or the spacings for your layouts or anything like that, as it makes those changes, it knows that that is associated with the 050 section view and will thus move them accordingly. To change the size of the buffer, is you have to go to settings and then all the way down here under section views commands to create multiple section views whoops in here is a section for buffers so i can change the size of this buffer if i wanted to depending on what you're doing now unlike other things this is not a uh, live connection is only created when the view when the command is ran as you can see so if i come in here and i take this view group delete it real fast and notice that it knew that those were objects it says do you want to keep them no i don't let's go ahead and delete them it's very intelligent let's recreate this real fast and you can see that my buffer is larger each one. So a nice little tool for when you're doing manual editing and uh, you end up refreshing or moving things that it keeps it hooked to the section itself. That's it for this week's tip. Please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe.